All right, so for today, in this video, I'm going to be using the Rapunzel, Masquerade Rapunzel Zoom. I've got to earn 600 coins, and she's actually really great for earning coins. I've been averaging about 700 with her. As you can see, I'm only at level nine. I say only, but I used skill tickets to level her, level her up because I have a bunch of them. Um, her skill is still one out of six. I'm hoping to skill her up during this event. And then otherwise, even just having her at level nine, she racks up a lot of coins and pretty great um, points, pretty great scores. So I'm going to play a game with her. Obviously, it's not my first time using her, but it'll give you an idea of how to use her. One of the great things about her is that similar to Jasmine, if you have, and maybe other ones as well, she only takes 12 zooms to activate her skill. So it's pretty quick to reload, and then it's pretty quick to um, go through them. You know, you're, you're going to average more skill uses per game as opposed to, um, well, for example, the Esmeralda masquerade one which just takes forever and i'm averaging three maybe if i'm quick enough uh four skills per game without using something like a five four skill ticket so this is great i've already used two skills we're only 45 seconds in one of the cool things about this one if you have the zoom if you don't have the zoom you might know um is that she also also activates fever time so she's great for fever challenges um, if you need to do, you know, eight fevers per game, something like that. My old go-to was Lumiere uh, because he activates fever time and he is pretty quick to activate the skills. But look at this, like I've already been through, I don't know, I think five skills now and we've, we're only a little bit in and I've already reached my coin goal about halfway through the game, which is pretty awesome. So again, big fan of her. I also don't know if you guys noticed this, but like the detail on their faces, <laughs> that's something I think about while I'm playing. Like you play with these other characters, you know, the Dalmatian, Lightning McQueen, and they're just kind of like plain simple, you know who they are. But the details on this mask, it's both beautiful and just kind of like unnerving. And I'm glad there's no one else in this game with this much detail because it would throw me off, quite frankly. You guys ever have that also when there's like two characters that are slightly similar in color and then you get completely confused and you can't tell um, who you're activating or who you're collecting and I don't do so well on those games as it turns out. Maybe I'll have an example to show you one day. Anyway, let's see. Yeah, all right. I didn't get that last skill in, but that's okay. Look at that, 1,200 coins. My score is already over 2.4 million. That's pretty awesome. So highly recommend Masquerade Rapunzel, even at the lowest levels. And what I do for someone like her as well is once I play the first game and I decide that I really like them, I try and level them up to level five immediately if I have skill tickets. So sorry, I got to select another mission here. But if I have skill tickets available, I try and level them up immediately because that just makes gameplay a little easier I have a theory, I don't know if it's true or just in my mind, but the higher you get in your levels, um, the more they drop, like the more the actual zoom you're using drops. For someone like her, I mean, it's showing up pretty frequently anyway, but for some other characters I've noticed, like Rugby Mickey, I told you, even with having two of those separate zooms that I could use to collect, um, it felt like it took forever for me to activate one skill. So I think the higher you go in levels, the more of these that drop, so it makes it easier for you to play. So that's just my theory. If you have any theories of your own, I'd love to hear it down below. And otherwise, I'll see you next time.